Good evening, everyone. Hope you're doing well. It is strange to start without a theme song that's all about me. Uh, my ego is already suffering, but as I've mentioned a few times, I think here and there, uh, currently my theme song is under copyright challenge by a German company that claims that song all about Decaf Jedi was uh, was written by them. So I'm jumping right in with help proper theme music, and I don't even know how to get my jam going. Like that song I was playing over the uh, the pre roll was so soothing, and now my energy's all out of whack. Like, normally I just come on in, like, I'm like, ah, ready to go. But until that copyright's resolved, I don't know what I'm going to do without a proper theme song. But for now, I'm glad everyone's here, because this is going to be what I hope uh, will turn out to be a very fun night. We're going to be playing The Legend of Zelda, uh, The Minish Cap, uh, a game where Link gets very small and goes on adventures. So... So glad you could join me tonight. Hope everybody's doing well. Good to see you, Ben. There's Paul, not Pat. There's Fit. There's Kill. There's Pickle Dog. Uh, we got a good crowd in here already. Uh, I'm really excited about this one. Last time around, we uh, we wrapped up the uh, the first dungeon and got it done pretty quickly and smoothly in a way that made it look like I was good at Zelda. I'm pretty sure it's going to come to a, a screeching halt um, after that last time. I'm sure it's immediately going to jump up in difficulty. Our talking hat will be of minimal use. Who knows where it's going from here? But I'm excited to play again. Hey, Sheldor, good to see you. Talk to me like duck hats do. Oh, by the way, tonight, Dr. Enough, the number one locally bottled beverage of Northeast Tennessee. I was at home at my parents' place over the weekend, and because my mom is the most wonderful person in the world, she had a six-pack of Dr. Enough waiting there for me to bring home with me. So thank goodness we have Dr. Enough. 240% of my daily dose of thiamine, sure to keep me going. Hey, three Becca, three Becca, good to see you. Three Becca is redeemed. Listen to the Zelda rap. We always have to risk listen to the Zelda rap when given the opportunity. Of course, this is the rap song that introduced America to a little game called Legend of Zelda. Let's listen to it now. Good to see you, three Becca. Enough. <laughs> oh, thank goodness we got that in before I hit the play button. Enough is enough. Thank you. Hmm. Refreshing. Good to see you, Metalli. Let's see here. Let's go. It's the Legend of Zelda, and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ghana are pretty bad. Octoroks, Tech Tech's Libras, too. But with your help, our hero pulls through. Yeah, go, Link. Yeah, get Zelda. Awesome. Intense. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Your parents help you hook it up. The Legend of Zelda sold separately. It's so good. Thank you for the stickered pickle dog. Good to see you, Shy Moth Boy. Intense. I think it's technically, I think the lyric there is Nintense. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I believe they're saying Nintense as in a, uh, a combination of Nintendo and Intense. <laughs> Let's listen to that again. Maybe that's my imagination. You tell me. It's the Legend of Zelda, and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ghana are pretty bad. Octorox, Tech Tech's Libras, too. But with your help, our hero pulls through. Yeah, go Link. Yeah, get Zelda. Awesome. Intense. The Nintendo it Entertainment intense. System. Your parents help you hook it up. The Legend of Zelda sold separately. Hard to say. Who knows? It's probably intense. That would make a lot more sense. But I'm going to pretend like it was Nintense. And we're going to jump right into the game. Let's go. Yeah, Canis, lupus, lupus. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good to see Gabriel, as always. Thank you, Three Becca. All right, let's see if we can get this game actually to show up on our streaming screen. There it is. All right, that was pretty easy. Okay, let's jump in. We'll continue with our save game. I creatively named our character Link. thought that was a good name for a uh, tiny elf boy. Hmm. Right where I left off. We got through that monster-filled shrine and found the earth element. This is my adorable hat talking to. Him. Great work, kid. You're doing a fine job. Thanks to my help, of course. Okay, is this where we need to go? Oh, wait, that's the shrine. So we're still Tiny Link at the moment. We're an itty-bitty boy, as you can see on the screen. We're small. How do you pronounce small when it's spelled the way people spell it on the internet? Small. Hello, Smoil. You retrieved the Earth Element from that fiend-invested shrine? Incredible. Humans are an amazing... Oh, sorry. Humans are amazing creatures. 
The elder's sure to be amazed too. I have to go find the elder. Dang it. Mole. Mole. Mule. Music in this game is awesome. My awesome sword skills are awesome. Watch this. Watch how quickly I can swing this sword. <laughs> No one stands a chance. I don't think Ganon's in this game, but if Ganon's in this game, bad news, Ganon. You fought all the monsters and took the elf. Yes, I don't remember where the elders is. This is the problem with taking a week off from the Ding Dang game. Hmm. Maybe he's in the boot. Oh! What? What? Oh no, ah oh, beans. Nick came in with trail mix game. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you for the sticker. Oh goodness. Oh, with me forever now. Our ancestors are the ancient menace. She's the pearl between our worlds. Brought them into the human world and they sailed in this forest. Okay, so you're not the elder either. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll, I'll never live this down. I've made my bed, and now I'll lie in it. Was he in Barrel Town? Are you the Elder? He doesn't seem like the Elder. This is where he called fake eco blooms. Hmm. But they sneak in and leave their nectar for the humans to find. Okay. <clears throat> I think I have a non-controversial answer for what variety of Chex Mix is my favorite. Um, you know, the jalapeno is very good. It's one of those nice jalapeno snacks that actually tastes kind of like actual jalapeno peppers instead of sort of like just onion powder and salt, which is what I feel like a lot of these things are. Cheers, Shia, my boy. You know, this is the most boring answer you can give, but original Chex Mix is probably my favorite Chex Mix. Again, I'm very much a savory guy. Like, I don't care for any of the sweeter Chex Mixes. Uh, but just a good old-fashioned regular Chex Mix. My favorite piece in the Chex Mix um, is probably the brown Chex. I guess it's like maybe like a wheat Chex. I don't know. You have like the light-colored ones and the brown ones. I like the brown ones because they tend to be a little denser and a little saltier. Uh, but original Chex Mix, I mean, I like everybody. Like any, you know, regular person. I like the rye chips, of course, too. But I'm just going to go with... Plain Chex Mix and the Brown Chex. Something that is so innocuous it couldn't possibly get me canceled. Thank you for asking Jess anything. Oh, things. There was an obvious way to push that, and I did it the other way. <laughs> yes, the rat chips, yeah. The, oh no, I'm gonna hurt myself if I eat this chip. Hello. We're doing cutting edge research on Pika Blooms here. Ah, so it's a hydroponic farm. Hmm, see that plant with a little bud? We're going ways to improve it. How about I destroy it? Yeah. You know, what is it? Gardetta's makes a oops all rye chips variety. But I don't like their rye chips quite as much as I like the ones in Chex Mix. I feel like the Chex Mix ones are a little milder. Having some makes you lucky. I'm enjoying learning about the Minish as I fail to find where I'm supposed to go. I've already been in here, haven't I? Hmm, Malari? Metalworking. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Let's go see the elders still, dang it. Yes, humans are amazing. Even though, again, I don't think that Link is human. It is just a generic menace. Okay, do I have a map? Oh, wait, that's your talk to your hat button. Okay, it's all just the one area, huh? 
Yeah, it's delightfully unhealthy. Yeah, I think it's the garlic I don't love as much about them, but I mean, they're still good. They're still rad chips. Aw, oh, ding dang, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Come on. Hmm. We thrive on making humans happy. It gives us energy. Me too. We only do it in secret, not me. I only do it for attention. Hey, Robin, rise, your favorite kind of bread to get with eggs at the... Ooh. When available, a good piece of rye bread is hard to beat. Just another non-controversial food opinion from me. A guy who has perfectly normal taste in food. It's very much my brand. Just having normal opinions about food. God, why can't I find anything? Why am I going in circles? I don't think this block part's supposed to be hard. Ah, wait, this is where I came from a second ago, isn't it? Dang it. Come on. The elder should be amazed too. Where is the elder? Ooh, does West Virginia have a specific food treat? Our, um, nah, this is, uh, this is a freebie. The big thing here in West Virginia are pizza rolls, um, which essentially are kind of like a calzone, only with a, a doughier, like, less flaky crust. So it'll be like a bread dough with some cheese pepperoni and sauce inside of it. Um... And they're popular enough, like, all the gas stations sell, like, manufactured ones. There's a factory here in the state that makes these things, like, prefab. So you can just, like, pop them open and eat them as an anywhere snack. The schools serve them once a week as a lunch item uh, in the cafeterias. Um, it is, uh, oh, no, not ricotta. It's going to be just, like, the cheapest uh, mozzarella cheese that you can possibly find. So, yeah, it's kind of like a pizza foldover uh, kind of deal. I don't love them, but they are definitely like the steak snack. No question about it. Oh, this looks like a place an elder would live. Oh, that's an elder. We did it. We solved the puzzle. You're blessed with much courage and strength. Yeah, this isn't meant to be fancy at all. I believe it was originally created as something that miners could take down into the coal mines with them that didn't require refrigeration and uh, could just be like popped open and eaten at any time during the day for like a dense chlor caloric snack. And it's just become sort of popular uh, as a general food stuff since. Where we do the chess fan tour, West Virginia. I'm hosting it inside of Fallout 76. <laughs> pizza rolls, horrible trail mix, and Dr. Enough. That's literally all I've eaten today. A man named Malari. Hmm. You're broken before he blows. Okay. Now we know where to go. Kinda. Oh, Lord. I do want to play Kentucky Route Zero. Or maybe even Kentucky Route Zero. I haven't decided yet. Um, you don't want to hear my opinions on J.D. Vance. <laughs> I was mad at J.D. Vance before he turned out to be an awful uh, human being in a very public way. Uh, back when people were still acting like you somehow the hillbilly whisperer. Um, I already deeply hated J.D. Vance. And uh, boy, the ensuing years have only, uh, only reinforced those vibes. Great Elder, we are in your debt, says my hat. We shall head for Mount Crennel at once. Alright, through the door. Hmm. Uh, you got any loot? Yes, worst human. Uh, very true. Even worse, wasn't he running against the evil Josh Mandel? 
as opposed to the good Josh Mandel all of us Sierra fans know and love. Who's this person? Green clothes and a mythical hat? Hmm, you wouldn't happen to be Link, would you? Hmm. Hey, Delari, a researcher of antiquities. And inventor. Uh-oh. Ooh, you got a bomb bag. Well, I'm glad I popped in here. That's ten the bombs in it. Ooh, you can blow up lots of stuff. Okay, and I will. Just wait. Just wait. Time to get big. Do I use this thing? Grow. Heartbreaker. <laughs> it's so cute. How is this game the cutest thing that's ever existed? Yeah, we got the Adrian emote. That was a, a new addition during the uh, Phantasmagoria stream where nothing else of note happened. Just a typical stream, that was. Holder of the sacred power to grant you the power of love. What? It blew up. Oh, no. Did that blow up some of the countryside? Yeah, look at where that stone marker used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, oh, this must be... Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, it's a warp point, but maybe not. Okay, my wind device doesn't seem to be what we need. You know, I... <laughs> not to turn this into a, a J.D. Vance hate cast, but... I grew up in Appalachia. I've lived in Appalachia most of my life. And uh, when Hillbilly Elegy came out, um, I have uh, a colleague who read it and was enamored and told me one day that they thought I should really take a look at this because there's a lot I could learn about Appalachia if I read it. And uh, I've been like secretly harboring anger <laughs> ever since. Nothing about Appalachia. Got a mysterious shell. Don't know what it's for, but hang on to it anyway. I like the shells. JD Vance is the hillbilly elegy guy. Yeah. Yeah. This is like one of those uh, putt putt holes where you don't know which hole to put your ball down. Oh, do I have to go back and get small? The problem with being small, though. A brown, if I go in there, is a little link. Hmm. Oh, kaboom. Yes, bombs, you say. Aha! Thank you, Fable Dog. Was I supposed to solve this puzzle on my own? Too complex bombs. So when do I know how to use bombs? Okay. Start. Ka -ka 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 boom! There we go. Did we just get a little mushroom cloud for that? <laughs> Put the shield there before I use uh, all my bombs accidentally by hitting the wrong button. Earth shattering kaboom indeed. Ah! The sky's a monster. How wonderful is the music in this game? Ah. <laughs> so far, these mushrooms are this game's version of the hook shot. Okay, so I'm supposed to be going to Mount Crumbles. I wonder where that is. Hmm. 
Just to start exploring around. I don't want to explore in this Zelda game, come on! Always very satisfying. Hmm, a hut, you say? Don't mind if I do, we'll go small. We'll head into this itty bitty hut and meet this Pecori. Hey, look at this kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? You don't know what a kinstone piece is, but I'll tell you what. Why don't you come back and see when you get one? Aw, oh, baby. Okay, let's grow back to full link size. Hope everyone's doing well tonight. Hope you had a good Monday so far. It was a nice day here. Yep, forgot how to do that. Alright, let's try it one more time. There we go. No sneaky boy, eh? Ah! Sneaky boys everywhere! Excited about returning to Phantasmagoria later this week. Yeah, the mushroom boomerang is wonderful, isn't it? Hey, I think I, I think I may see a place where I can use a bomb. Normally, I don't notice these. Normally, Curse Lache is on the stream to tell me when I'm staying in front of an obvious place to use a bomb. I found this one. Me, baby, me. Matzos. Ooh, 20 mysterious shells. Oh, wow. They're flooding the mysterious shell economy here. Oh, I should save, huh? I think you can just save at any time in this game. By the way, I absolutely love this game. I adore it. It is adorable. Obvious exits are over here. Okay. Not today, hidden bug. Also, ooh, those guys. What's their whole deal? Are you a boomerang? <laughs> this is a boomerang situation. I don't even know if this ding-dang game has a boomerang. Surely it has a boomerang though, right? But that feels like a second dungeon kind of thing to get. No, I should keep the bombs equipped, but I'll just blow things up when I don't want to if I do. And a shell. Hyrule Castle, Hyrule Town, Minish Woods. Alright, I'm back to where I started out earlier in the game. Oh no, see, there it is. There's me accidentally using my bombs when I don't mean to. At least it's gonna kill those people horribly. I think these, uh, these monsters learn their tactics from the cactuses. In Super Mario 2. Boomerang, yes. It's my favorite pie. That's a good at Ash Jess anything. Boomerang is my fa favorite pie. Town, Caster Wilds. I really don't know what direction these mountains are in. I mean, I guess since it's a Zelda game, the mountains are up. Seems like a reasonable guess. I have played, I believe, all three Fable games uh, start to finish. I think I played all three. No, I have not played two. Oh, wait. Is Tunic the thing that just came out that's like the cute uh, Zelda uh, clone type thing? I played a few minutes of it and 
found it really adorable, and I think I got distracted by something else. I'd actually thought about streaming it, and then uh, Ben streamed it that night, and uh, I was like, well, sweet, now, uh, now it's covered. We've got it. I need to bomb that. Will that work? Surely not. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ben I have lots of really nasty fights about who gets to stream what, and, uh, and Tunic was one of them. Ooh, how are you liking Cyberpunk 2077? I've spent a couple hours in that and, uh, and didn't go much further. Oh, Reiki is, is it just a... I cannot push it with this, uh... Yeah, I've got this pit in the way that's causing me trouble. Oh man, there are gerblins over there too. That kind of looks like a Crash Bandicoot over there. Is that like a really buff Crash Bandicoot? Hmm. Push it and get the dagger in the hole. Gotta make sure you push it the right way. They used that dagger to kill the goat. Crash Bandicoot. You see unbombed walls. Uh oh, pickled dog. An unbombed wall. Oh wait, down there, yeah, there you go. Who's that? Ha! Ah, okay, Shadowrun, this is uncontroversial. My favorite full motion video game is Ooh, this reliable ally will replenish your life energy. I'll take it. Uh, my favorite full moon. Oh, I'm strong here, Mom. Big dang it. God, I'm equipping. Um, definitely Gabriel Knight 2. Um, of all the full motion games I've, uh, I've ever played, it is definitely Gabriel Knight 2 that, uh, that will forever be my favorite. Well, I don't know if I'll say forever. You know, honestly... I've really been enjoying um, Phantasmagoria so far. We're only one chapter in. But, you know, I think I mentioned this on the stream. Sort of the slow pace of it is really enjoyable to me. Like, I like how much of it really is just sort of like, let's explore this weird location we found ourselves in. I think that, whoa. Those guys are terrifying. I know I've seen them before, but... I don't think I fully processed just how huge they are. Huh? Wing Commander 4, Tex Murphy under a killing moon. You know, I have almost no experience with Tex Murphy. At some point, I know Ben's mentioned this too, and as he said a moment ago, if one of us streams a game the other was playing on streaming, the other turns to stone. Uh, which was part of the contract we signed. I knew what I signed up for when we did it. Um, but uh, at some point I need to stream some kind of... Uh, some kind of Tex Murphy game. Did I need to go up from the Minish Woods earlier and I just went the wrong way completely? This may be new territory. Hmm. What does that mean? What does Sparkle Tree do? I'm betting that means there's a stump there that I can use to get small and go in this little house, but I wonder what I'd do to get past this. Yes, don't worry, I am super ready for the bad stuff at the beginning of Chapter 4 of Phantasmagoria. And we'll make sure I don't don't throw it out there live on stream. Oh, you played all six games. Ricky, what's your favorite uh, of the Tex Murphy series? Is it Under a Killing Moon? As you mentioned, that was one of your favorite FMV games of all time, so that's standard reason. Okay. Maybe I need to go over here, if I can. The Lon Lon Ranch. Of course, it feels like that's the area that's blocked off, right? 
the original Mean Streets. You know, I think I played the original Mean Streets way back in the day. Before, I guess when it came out, when I had no idea that, like, Tex Murphy was going to be a franchise or anything like that. It was just some random game I think I found in the bargain bin at KB Toys, if I'm not mistaken. Is that bombable? Probably not, is it? it? Doesn't look like a bombable space in a Zelda game. Hmm. So I can't cross up here yet. <laughs> Why can't I figure out this simple game? This simple game for babies. Oh, I'm sure I'll get some trash going here before long. Don't you worry. You know me. My opinions about trail mix aren't the only thing that's garbage around here. I tried to think ahead before the stream tonight about any number of controversial food questions I might get asked. That way I didn't accidentally slip up and say the wrong thing again. Now that I've basically been censored uh, for my beliefs, I'm trying to really get ahead of that. Did I really about just open that gate? What does Link need to open a gate? This game is gatekeeping. But that's not bombable either. Maybe we should try the. I don't have any bombs left, of course. You'll never know until you try, huh? when Link does a dramatic flip to death. Yeah, back here, we still have this sparkly tree that is clearly a stump that would shrink me and I'm guessing provide me access to those areas. Oh no. Oh, what's this? If anyone has any idea where I need to go, feel free just to uh, shout out in the chat. Oh, a cat. Well, hello. Come one, come all! See how many kinstone pieces you can collect! You never know what fusing kinstones will do. Your free kinstone back for holding your kinstones. Yes, yes! You're here for your free kinstone flag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. Ooh, free kinstone bag. Nick, this is the cutest game ever. This is cute on a level comparable to Link's Awakening, which was Ding Dang Cube. And the music's just great. Everything about the game is great. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called Kinstone Fusion. Checks out. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Who's ready to lend a few kinstones will look like I do right now. Oh, wow. Maybe I'm misunderstanding what fusing kinstones is, but I'm into it. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, I caught all of it. Why not? And stand in front of me and press L so we can fuse kinstones. Yes! Yes! Sickos! That's it, press L! Ah, uh, it's called a hurdy gurdy man. My favorite Donovan song. Hmm, maybe something good will happen. Oh, you look at that. Wow. I know where that is. A perfect fit. That means we're both due for a little happiness. All right. Oh my gosh, that cat's adorable. I've got to go get to this uh, recently opened uh, passage and then come back and deal with the cat situation. I'll totally forget about the existence of this place if I don't go quickly, though. And even already, I'm not sure if I remember exactly where it is. We will pet the kitty, don't you worry. It's going to be even better the longer we wait. Is that thing? I've lost it, haven't I? Oh no. Oh no. I don't know where that thorny place is. Oh no. There's the thorny tree. If only I had some sense. Oh, wait, here it is. If only I had some sense of direction. Ooh. I'll take a piece of heart. Remember, the thorns are gone. <laughs> you see, this is my problem. I think I've mentioned before on stream um, that. Uh, I have, like, weird anxiety that kicks in anytime I'm playing a Metroidvania that I'm going to forget how to get back to the place I can now access. And a little bit of that kicks in when I'm playing a Zelda game, because Zelda games have a little bit of that Metroidvania element to them. They put in speech for the cat! If you're only going to have, like, seven voice lines in the game, I'm really glad that they put in that one. I mean, that's a very good pixel art cat. Good cat. Really? I can't cross that? Why can't I cross that? It's a board that's exactly the size of... Wait, so we need to talk to again. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Why not that person? Ooh. Now this character looks like fun. Cheers! Yay, cheers! Raise your milk for a toast. I wonder why I should have for dinner. Are you Empa? You can move bookcases and stuff. After all, you're young. You should be trying all kinds of new things. Ah, so that's probably a minish place I can go. I'm not minish at the moment. Oh, well, well, well. We hear all kinds of interesting gossip in here. Stop by from time to time. Wow. Look at that animation. The hair toss? Terrific. Hello, hurdy gurdy man. A lot of people looking for someone to fuse with. Don't I know it. Throwing her luscious hair in your face, yeah. I mean, goals, honestly. <laughs> I'd have to be minished to cross that, huh? 
that's the answer to the question. Hey, terrifying clown man. Ah oh, yes, welcome. Please, feel free to browse. Hmm, a Zelda shop, eh? Guess I should buy some more bombs. Only 30 rupees at 55. I think I'll buy that. But Tim Bobombs. Oh. Hey, Agent Cooper, thank you so much for the resub. Good to see you. Howdy, howdy, howdy. You should visit Stockwell Shop. I think I just did. Hey. Hmm. This house appears to be empty. Maybe we shouldn't go in here. Just west of Hyrule Town. Okay. Well, there you have it. Now we know. Oh no. Escape chickens. Oh, I hate these chicken quests. I have to catch two of them within 25 seconds, please. You can't go into buildings or leave town. Recall doing this quest elsewhere. Right away until time expires. <laughs> now, I've really been enjoying this one so far. Time's up, that's it. I did it, right? Thanks, here's your reward. Ooh, ten mysterious shells. Oh no, is this a ghost of some child who died? Oh, beans. Boogity boogity boo! That's scary, yeah? Oh my god, they killed Kenny. Um, so there's just no, no explanation why there's a little, uh, little ghost in a tube standing there, huh? Meow, re meow. Oh. This cat's very good, too. Another child ghost quest. Well, hello, my brother's at school. Hmm. Good to know, I suppose. Wait, that definitely slides this away. No? <laughs> That's right, Anthony. Bitter alpaca. I am still attempting to to rebuild everything that I lost last week. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get back to where I was before I was cancelled, but we'll see. Oh, there's a dog, too. Yep. Everything's great. I just need to... Oh. oh! Well, hello. Hmm. Yeah, Ricky, I was asked a question about Trail Mix and expressed a very valid opinion about, like, what the worst part of Trail Mix is. And uh, some people got very judgy about it and uh, tried to uh, steer me away from my truth. And, uh, yeah. Guess I can't do whatever this is yet. Not open yet. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is exciting. I can't wait to get wherever I need to be to go forward. The door's shut. We can't open it from this side. Dang it. I've already been in this place. The coffee shop. Okay, yeah. Is it in the boot store? What's this all a boot? Hmm, what's that all a boot? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! We've done it. We've solved their riddles. Make me tiny, bird hat. Sweet. Oh wow. 
there's good and evil in this world. That's right, even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. The Minish may not look like much, but they're quite crafty. Aha, I'm Tiny Link. Really, Link can't go up the... Link, you can get with it. Oh my god, it's adorable! <laughs> Got you! For real though, how do I get out of here now? It can't be all there is to do, is it? Can't walk past that. I'm sure I can't bomb a shoe out of my way. Yeah, shoplift lift is a tag boy. Hmm. Could you move your shoes, please? You big jerk. What the hell? Welcome! Welcome to Rim Shoe Shop. Lately, whenever I take a nap, all my shoes are done when I wake up. You know, if I can make shoes in my sleep, I must be in the right job. Could you please move your ding dang shoes? Well, maybe that's not. Who <laughs> bombs a shoe, anyway? Honestly. Okay, so I thought that was our answer. Anything else over here? Wow, this has been uneventful play session so far. <sighs> sniff, sniff. Doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples. I'll say, would you ask for me? Uh, you got samples? Must make deliciousness. Welcome! Please bring whatever you'd like to buy to the register. I'd like to buy a croissant. Bakery of Wheaton and Peanut! Hey, take care, Kyo. Good to see you. Our special croissant, which may or may not have something inside it, is a flaky, buttery bargain. Fred is always fresh! I like that it's uh, meant to be sing songy. Okay, what's your deal over here? Oh, yeah, it's here go. Okay, let's try going north and see if there's anything in that part of town. I really feel like I'm struggling mightily with something that isn't meant to be a challenge. That mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. Fishy about this room. Ahem. I am Hagen. <laughs> Hagar, mayor of this fair town. Mike Hagar. Uh, mayor is usually very important and busy qualified, you know. I also have a hobby. I collect unusual masks. Majors of masks. They're beautiful. Simply magnificent. Hmm. Look at that. The sneaky boy Link. <laughs> it's me, Sneaky Boy Link. Getting up under this guy. Ooh, a pinstone piece, eh? Looks like something only a big Link could do. Oh, a weird little area. Okay. You want to fuse kinstones? Oh, please, yes. We don't trust this guy, do we? Or do we want to do it? Do we want to do it? Mayora's mask, that's very good. <laughs> Our hat literally said we couldn't trust this guy. Let's do it. Oh, maybe something good will happen. Huh? 
Oh, interesting. That's here in town somewhere? Okay. Lon Lon Ranch. Oh, we still can't get to Lon Lon Ranch, can we? Okay. Well. Hello, old timer. The mayor's doing a great job. Good for you. I'm happy that you're happy. Ugh. Well, there's nothing working. I can't get anywhere in this game. Why have I been playing for an hour with no progress? Wow, is that like a soccer film? Well, if it isn't Link, it's a good see you in school sessions. So I'm afraid I can't let you in. Yeah, school marvel. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hey, that stone marker crumbled, and there's another one of those symbols. How many times do I see it happen? It still rattles me. I just need. Oh, wait, is this a bridge? Oh, great. Have we solved the puzzle? We escape town. Post office, eh? Damn stamp. Just because you have a sword and shield doesn't mean you'll be safe. Can't let you go until you learn some sword techniques, so well, that's fun. Ooh. Swift Blade School in the south end of town is really awesome. Well, maybe that's where we need to go. Ooh. What's this? I'm from a faraway land. You can tell by my clothing, can't you? You don't have any kinstone pieces, you big dummy. In our way. So the Swift Blade School is in the south part of town. More cats over there. Is this the south part of town? Is this the building, please? to learn how to use a sword from Legolas. Ah! I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee you will increase your skill dramatically. So would you like to train here? Please. We should start with the most basic of all techniques. Ooh, spin attack. Press and hold your sword button. Release your destructive might. You understand? Yes. Aha. Must feel the technique. So I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. Oh wow. Oh, this is Swiss Blade Possession Technique of Training. Watch this. Possession! Wow. Classic like a little technique, hey, living runs. Now you must try it yourself. Press and hold your sword button. Okay. Alright. Fine work. You're a quick study. Now I'll give you this tiger scroll. If you ever get this tape, you can review it. Ah, oh, good to know, good to know. Okay. Can I learn anything else yet? Okay. Come back when you have a better sword, loser. Okay, now we're rolling. We're rocking and rolling. You know how we do. I am leaving town now. Look at that 
instead of that yes yes. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, that's the one. This is Zelda game, none of the monsters are that tough. Oh, well I say that. And then Sonic me. these color block areas are. This was like another area that I can't do anything in yet. That's not a bombable wall, is it? Might be. So it is. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. Ooh, this deluxe bottle. 20 rupees. I guess the bottles are usually for fairy holding. You should store all sorts of things. Okay. Alright, a bottle. Sweet. We're all bottled up now. Okay. Back to the surface. We're off in search of someone to reforge our broken sword. Royal Valley, Mount Crennel. Hey, Mount Crennel's what we're looking for. Everything's coming up, Link. Mount Crennel's base. Ooh, look at this area. Hmm, that has the distinct feel of a bombable wall. I'm up that yeah. 20 rupees, that's great. 20 rupees, that's great. So this weekend I went to see Paul McCartney perform in Winston-Salem, and it was really good. I've seen Paul McCartney, this was my fourth time um, in the last several years, and it is remarkable. Um, just how active and like energetic of a show he puts on at age 80. Um, he played for three hours straight in a fairly hot outdoor venue uh, with uh, without any kind of like break uh, between sets, nothing else. It was pretty wild. It was good stuff. Yeah, I know. It is something else, right, Nick? I mean, he is... I mean, he's pretty energetic up on stage, too. It's not like he's just, you know, standing around. It is... Oh, man. I've been to mine in a cave just east of here in Trilby Highlands. Has not him. Hmm, if you're planning to get Mount Crinnell, you might need it. Okay. Yeah, the Let It Be documentary is fantastic. I mean, I know it's the most talked about scene in the entire movie, but the bit where he just sort of conjures get back out of the ether is really just unlike anything I've ever seen. As someone who's not a terribly creative person, watching that sort of creative magic in action is uh, mind-blowing. Do we think these are bombable doors? Again, they don't look like your typical Zelda bombable door. Yeah, it's too solid in Arizona. That is a good bit. Paul's doing a really great uh, tribute to John uh, in the current tour. Um, I guess spoiler alerts if you're going to see Paul McCartney, but uh, 
Apparently he worked with Peter Jackson to isolate John's vocals on I've Got a Feeling. And basically does it as a duet with him with John. Footage of John from the rooftop concert playing over his shoulders and they kind of jam back and forth a live call and a pre-recorded John. And it's pretty uh, wonderful and tear-inducing and everything else you'd expect it to be. It's really well done, too. It's very seamless. I mean, it really feels like Paul's just jamming out with, uh, with John. And, yeah, it's wonderful. Oh. And stone pieces everywhere, huh? Well, is it time to try bombing one of those? I guess it is. Only one way to know for sure whether it's bombable or not. First, we'll set it. He did Beam for the Benefit of Mr. Kite uh, this weekend, too. And again, it's like, of all the Beatles songs I would have expected to hear, that one was... Nope, that is not bombable. That was definitely not on the list of ones I would have anticipated. Wait, I don't guess I can suction that somehow, can I? It's the only other tool I have at this point. No, that would have been strange, I suppose. Just east of here has an item. Okay, we'll keep looking. How's your bottle of East of E water holding? That's a good question. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Ah, you put water in your bottle. Thank you. And thank you, Shy Moth Boy. If you haven't already, be sure to go to my YouTube channel and watch the fantastic video that Shy Moth Boy made based on Trail Mix Gate, based on what some would call a gap, but I would call, you know, just... Uh, just a person expressing their honest opinion and uh, being persecuted for it about uh, what goes well in trail mix and what doesn't. But everyone, definitely get over and uh, and be sure to give that a look because it is fantastic. Shy Moth Boy did, uh, did amazing work and I thank them deeply <laughs> for making such a... I should probably mention it's done in the form of an ace uh, attorney case. Uh, all the dialogue from the original stream turned into the perfect form an Ace Ventura, uh, Ace Ventura, Ace Ventura, Phoenix Wright, Ace Ventura, an Ace Attorney, uh, courtroom scene. All right. Let's see here. So, oh, we have a, thank you, Ricky, for listening to Zelda rap. Let's see if I can get going here. Here we go. The Zelda rap from the original Legend of Zelda commercial. It's the Legend of Zelda and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ganon are pretty bad. Octorox Tech Tech's levers too. But with your help, our hero pulls through. Yeah, go Link, yeah, get some. Awesome. Intense. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Your parents help you hook it up. The Legend of Zelda sold separately. <laughs> Thank you for the Link Pickle Dog. Well, excuse yeah. me, princess. <laughs> If you have any, thank you so much, Robin. If you have any questions about Trail Mix Gate, I think that will clear them all up. Look at this. Here we go. Oh man, tic tacs. Oh no, it's got the boulders. Oh, I hate boulders. Dangerous, no climbing. This still works. Oh, look at that. We can clean this place up. The 
to no to no purpose, no reason here. Just sucking things up because we can. Uh, tech types. I hate these guys. <laughs> it did have a slow motion train wreck kind of feel to it, right? I mean, I stand by what I said. It's not that wrong. I'm all about the new model. Mm, build out the double death. Where crumbling laws? What? <laughs> crumbling walls. Blasting strictly prohibited. Does that mean I need to blast there? Or just look in general for crumbly walls? So we got twister, right? And that has the distinctive look of a bombable wall. Yeah, Shamak boy, you did a really remarkable job turning that into a dialogue that that made sense. Oh no! I can't have bombs in my hand ever, just like every Zelda game. Once you pulled off their iron mats, those guys are no trouble whatsoever. Easy for you to say. Or you can just get behind them, huh? Seems way easier. I believe you can push the uh, pots in this game. Yeah, I'm not sure what we have as far as items coming up in this game. I'm pretty unspoiled on it. Hmm. Oh, of course, how silly of me. Jump into that whirlwind over there for me. It's a great idea or a terrible one? Great question. Oh my goodness. This game just got very interesting. Oh, wow. This changes everything. Serious hat travel. Okay, so I guess I need to turn. Minish, get a seed, plant it there, water it. Oh, that was her time. Okay, I need to find a spot where I can get small. Maybe I need to uh, vacuum this place up. Big dust jar. It's a cool remix of the theme, huh? I guess I just suck that over here. Nah, figures. Ah! Yes. I, you know, Ben, I was thinking about uh, when I was setting up this stream and needed a title, 
if I wanted to use Let's Get Small as the uh, as the title for this stream, but then decided maybe nobody would recognize that reference. <laughs> you know, I'm not very far. Um, that's a great question, though, uh, Sheldor. It feels very similar to Link's Awakening to me in a lot of ways, in a really like positive way. Like in no way is that a complaint because I love Link's Awakening. And so far, I'm really enjoying this too. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been quite good so far. Ooh, a pinstone piece in. Water is life for krennel beans. Blue greens. Hmm. No. Let's read that again so I actually remember it. Blue beans grow you pour water on them, green beans, like Mr. Krennel, Mr. Krennel mineral, Mr. Krennel's mineral water. Krennel mineral. But you know, I'm, I think that this compares really nicely to Link's Awakening. Yeah, I'd be curious if I'd played the original Game Boy or Game Boy Color version of Link's Awakening, how closely they would compare. Because I've only played the Switch remake, which I did love. You know, as much as I love Breath of the Wild, I find the 2D Zelda is really charming. I probably need to play Link to a Pass. Link to a Pass. Link to the Pass. At some point after I finish this one. After I finish this one. Doing great. Just, there we go. There you go. Yeah, that's it, Link. Keep it up. Alright. Really racking up those kinstone pieces. Dr. Krennel with the verbose soaps. You know, after going to the Paul McCartney concert actually went to another show on um, on Sunday night, uh, Mountain Stage, which is an NPR show that's syndicated all over the country. Uh, typically holds its uh, recordings in uh, Charleston, West Virginia, just down the road from me. And uh, one of my favorite artists, Nellie McKay, was playing uh, as part of their lineup last night. Uh, she's also an artist my daughter likes quite a bit. So when we got back into town from Paul McCartney, we uh, hauled our way back over there and saw that last night. It was really fun. I heard a uh, performer whose work I really enjoyed. He's a um, guy from Alabama named Abe Partridge, who I really enjoyed. Uh, really distinctive voice, uh, great sense of humor. Uh, you should look him up on Spotify. I think uh, he's pretty fun. Abe Partridge, like Partridge family. Some parts. Some parts. Yeah, the concert going maniac. Yeah, I haven't been to a concert in like three years, and now it's just like all weekend long. This is my daughter's first show, and she enjoys it. It's also fun to be at like a live recording for a radio broadcast and uh, getting to watch all the production that goes into that. Oh man, Small Boy is strong. Frontline assembly. Okay, so the green ones need a special juice, is that right? Isn't that what they told me before? Beeping is terrible. It always just makes me feel like, yeah, that's my fault for not being better at the game. This is on me. I've created this 
this scenario. How did I get in here? No memory. Did I glide in? Oh no, I just walked in, huh? Walked in with my little legs. Give me a heart. Anywhere, just give me a heart. Assume hearts can hide behind these. Oh no! I feel like in most Zelda games, the game gets really generous with the hearts when you're low. Perhaps not this one. But here we are at Mount Crennel, and we're at a dead end. All right. Serious now, y'all. I've been in here, haven't I? Maybe not. Oh wait, I don't have my shield out, do I? Okay, you got me. Ten bombs. Thirty rupees. No thanks. Not right now. Maybe came and get killed. And it might be faster. Hmm. Let's see here. Where to go? So I'm looking for a water source. Oh, there's the green pool, right? Can I get it from up there? Really not. Doesn't look like one can reach. Oh, it's another tiny scenario, it looks like. Oh, green water looks sanitary. Yeah. Well, you can't go on living like that. Let's see. I wonder where I can be small around here. Where can I be small? I ask. Oh yeah, that's that useless guy. I wonder if any of his uh, bushes contain parts though. Do you have any parts here, bushes? The random wall with the two fence pieces in front of it. Yeah, that is a little sus, isn't it? Or was that? East now, yes. Yeah, that does have a suspicious look to it, huh? Let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Unmarked Explodey Town, eh? Oh, I don't want to be dead. Here we go. We're back on track. Thank you, Pickle Duck. I think the sign said no blasting. Did I need to get big and blow that up? Yeah. Bad dude. Okay, let's see here. So, good to see you, Grayson. Hope you're doing well.
Perfect. Yes. There's nothing better than Tiny Link. Simply nothing. Oh no! Grayson, you're a Zelda expert. How do I not constantly drop bombs? <laughs> like, I guess one way to do it would be to consistently unequip them or just learn what buttons do what and not push the one when I want to do some of the other thing. But is there some magical way for me to do it that doesn't require me learning any better habits? Seriously, I, yeah, I think we all know I'm never going to learn not to do it, so. Oh, oh you're bombed, so you run out. Not bad. Hmm, Mount Crinal Mineral Water. Right. Okay. See if he's giving a heart. Any other places for a small link to adventure here? Oh, looks like that's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's cream soda. That checks out. Okay. Let's see here. So now we need to go back up to that other place. Grow our plant that we planted. Another place that I definitely remember where it was. Get good. I mean, get good is probably the answer to like most of my video gaming woes. Well, use these things. I guess I have to be up top to use them. I jump down into them. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I realized what a poor sense of direction I had in games until I started streaming them for an audience. And then it's really become apparent to me that I just cannot find my way around games. I think it's really abysmal. I'm starting to wonder if I have a problem. <laughs> okay, this is just where I came from, right? Terrific. Good job, Jess. You successfully made yourself back. Okay. Keep up the good work. Can't climb a ladder from that direction. West Cave. Where it is, West Cave. Wrong West Cave. No, oh, Reese's. I hate these guys. <laughs> Thank you for making that. I hate these Reese's pieces reference before I had a chance to. Let me tell you, Reese's Pieces? Another candy I don't care for. Just FYI, in case you're wondering. I don't eat peanut butter, so yeah, they just don't work for me. <laughs> it's probably been like 30 years since I've had peanut butter.
Love peanuts, though. Can't get enough peanuts. Probably about 30 years, yeah. I've been doing a really good job avoiding peanut butter. And only, I mean, 30 years is just because I was, like, spending the night at a friend's house and uh, his mom made peanut butter sandwiches and I didn't want to be rude and not eat them. So I ate uh, my least favorite food. People get canceled. Did that make you a lot of money? That is my, uh, <clears throat> oh, wow. Shy Moth Boy, can you rank your favorite kinds of M&Ms? Um, one of my favorites, I don't know if it's on the market anymore, but it was like a coffee nut M&M that I thought was really good. It was uh, almost tasted like a chocolate covered espresso bean. It had a darker chocolate on it uh, that was really wonderful. That's probably my favorite M&M that I've ever had. After that, I really like almond M&Ms which you can occasionally find here and there. After that, probably plain M&Ms. And then probably peanut M&Ms, which I don't mind. I know they're sweet and savory, and I've said some things about sweet and savory foods. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind. Oh, the crispy ones I like a lot. The texture is, uh, is very good. I don't mind the crispy ones at all. Um, don't like the peanut butter ones, but I think it's really funny that the M&M that's on, like, the packaging of the peanut butter ones has, like, what's supposed to be peanut butter hair, but he really ends up just looking like a Donald Trump M&M. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I will say, probably the the coffee nut ones are my all-time favorite. Generally speaking, I tend to like M&Ms. Like, M&Ms are candy I do enjoy. I still like them in trail mix. <laughs> oh wow peanut butter ice cream yeah uh, you can go ahead without me on that one grace that's uh that's not going to be my jam oh peanut butter don't you hate the way it feels in your mouth who would willingly take that into their lives Love peanuts though, can't get enough peanuts. Just don't want it in butter form. Colonel Waller, the Colonel Mines. Yeah! Nice jerk. What a bee hole. Maybe now I can figure out who's throwing those boulders down earlier. Peanut butter and banana smoothie. Yeah, you know, that would... Yeah, ooh, man. Like, just imagining the mouthfeel of that. Oh. Can't do it. Wish I could. Can't do it. Curiously, my daughter also doesn't eat peanut butter. So she's the weird kid that doesn't eat peanut butter now, just like I used to be. Dude, no encouragement on my part. Give me a heart. <laughs> I would be very disappointed in her. This is a good point. She takes a lot of pride in the idea that she and I have, uh, to quote her, the same taste buds. Like, that's important to her that we like the same things. So there's no way I'm going to dispute that. Sign got very little. You can climb that wall, but how? 
Oh, we need some sort of like climbing boots. I bet this is the part where that uh, dude said we need to find his friend who's in a cave somewhere. We've probably reached that point. Oh, nice rupees indeed. Okay, where do we need to ding dang go? You know, I do feel like, you know, I was asked to compare this to Link's Awakening earlier. And I felt like Link's Awakening, at least the Switch version that I played, did a really nice job of pointing in the direction of where I needed to go at any given time. Whereas I feel like this game is a little bit more like a traditional game from this genre, I suppose, and just kind of let me figure that stuff out myself. And we're seeing how well that's going. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It doesn't surprise me that that was a product of the Switch version. So this guy here, this lovely plant boy, Just east of here has an item. Okay. We still haven't figured that out, right? We still haven't found his friend in the Trilby Highlands? Are you his friend? Oh, thank God. So nothing this way still. Where's the cave in the Trilby Highlands? How do I get over there? Why won't this door open? Why does nothing work? That's a sign, so. Well, now we'll never know. <laughs> Wrong button. See, this is the thing that is causing me all kinds of frustration. You can't bomb these doors. So far I've yet to successfully open one. You those rocks pushable. Like so far wait, oh they're left. Gotta be kidding. what I'm lifting them for, though. There's a bombable... I wonder if that's it. I bet it is. Can I get down there? We won't leave a blue rupee behind. Where did it? Oh yeah, this situation. So yeah, I guess I need some sort of climbing something, like magic climbing boots or whatever Link will get in this game. 
And that guy tells me there's an item I need in a in a cave to the east in Philby Hills. But there's just nowhere to go here. That game over there would be great. So far, I haven't found a way to do that. I guess I need to plant another seed, but where can I get a seed? I would love backseating Grace, and I would love it so much. I would eat a big spoonful of peanut butter right now for a little backseating. I'm always in mode adventure, so that's always there. <laughs> Go up the mountain as far as you can until you find a little valley. Okay. Grayson, I'll see what I can do. Just avoid these bad boys. Yes, the chatty tag is essential. I used to briefly have Cozy as a, uh, as a tag on here, but then I was like, maybe I'm too loud to be cozy. Maybe I don't count as cozy. Is this it? Is this possibly the wall? I mean, it has the look of something, huh? That's bombable, right? All those are bombable. Oh wow, look at that. That's oh no. Get out of here, Link, get out of here. There we go. That's all we needed. I'll take secret treasure any day. Can do. Everything's coming up, Jess. Okay. Okay, there's the wooden bridge. Somewhere in here. Oh, up the bridge. Mm. Ah, yes. In hindsight, perhaps I should have noticed. I need more hand-holding than this game gives me. Just having paths dead end into a 
giant rock face isn't enough to clue me in. We got a great plan to take these guys out. That makes me feel a little better. Sooner or later, I'm bound to get better at doing Link things. Like, right now, I'm not great at doing Link things. Ooh. Ooh sweet. Looks like the game gave me bombs. I knew I needed bombs to progress. Just put that in the middle and gotten both of them, huh? Okay, I always mess these up, gang. that pot to kill him, huh? Maybe, uh, stroll back out of here and come back in. Pop things. Okay. There we go. Nailed it. Perfect solution. We'll drop a bomb to celebrate. Okay. That's where I just came from. I guess I need to... Clad. Like Clad Drexler. So according to Wikipedia, this was uh, in part the inspiration for the gliding in, uh, in Breath of the Wild, maybe? Wow, these Colonel Mountains are really serious, huh? Is that an area I've been to down there? I don't want to go down there and have to backtrack my way back up, do I? Middle mines, shortcut to bottom. Wow, this place is alive with enemies. This would be dead with enemies. Hmm, that's a suspicious wall. May have to give that a uh, closer inspection. Face tank that. Okay, you got me. Ooh, the fabulous grip ring is perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. I, mean, I guess I need that, right? You got the grip ring. Now you can easily climb cliffs that you could not scale before. Sweet. And out these bombs like they're uh, nothing now. bottom. Ah, there we go. Look at Link now. Can I put a bomb on a pedestal? Does that thing go work? Nope. I don't 
don't think I have anything else I can put there, do I? Hmm. Ah, I need a specific thing for the glowy puzzles. Okay. I figured as much. I mean, that's generally what's going on when something like that's just completely mystifying. seed planting that needs to go on. Feels like a lot of work. You go down here and explore. From a wall, watch out for falling rocks. I will do no such thing. Ah, wow, look at this, huh? Okay, that definitely looks bombable. No bomb throwing! Okay. Sorry, game. Hmm. Oh no! I didn't mean to bomb the fairies! Fairy fountain. You do bomb it? Really? <laughs> That's right, you can pick up bombs in these ding dang games. I like that, you can't. Wake up, you watery tart. Wow! Welcome to the Adventure Spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring or the silver bomb? Either, right? These are the regular bomb. You are honest. I must reward such an honest adventure with some of my power. You got a big bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs. Sweet, this fairy's all about bombs. They light shine on your face. All right. Big bomb bag. Big bomb bag. I got that big bomb bag. Oh no! Yeah, it's not the way. But no help. Oh okay, god, Fairy gives out explosives rather than help. Nothing's gonna drop a heart, huh? Never gonna happen. Wow, I'm one hit away. Big save, huh? Yeah, no, exactly. More bombs. Just what I needed. <laughs> Tokyo Drift got some things done. All right, more bombs. Please. Oh!
Oh. <laughs> I thought that would just... Shortcut to Bob is also a shortcut to top. Okay, that's uh, that's good logic. Okay. Can you save states? That's cheating. It's always good. Always. Oh, a heart. How generous. Hey. Oh, wow. We've got raiders. Hey. We get a shout out here. Thank you so much for the raid, Unsecret Crush. How are you this evening? Hope you're doing well. Playing Persona 3. You know, I've never messed around with the Persona series, but I think I picked up. Persona 4 Golden on sale not long ago. Maybe someday I'm going to have to dip into it. How was your stream? Thank you so much for uh, for the raid. Hey Raiders, I'm Jess, Decaf Jedi, and I'm streaming a little bit of uh, Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I like to stream retro games of all kinds, especially point-and-click adventure games. But I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Playing the top hits of yesterday and today, it's Decaf Jedi. <laughs> I've heard good things about the Persona series, and yeah, I'd really like to just give one of them a shot. <laughs> it's Brett Great. No, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Hope you're having a terrific Monday night. Or Monday, whatever time of day it might be where you are. Ooh, look at this. Hey, Robot Spacer. Suspicious hole is suspicious. Is that a bombable situation? Maybe not that hole. Okay, let's pull this back and catapult ourselves. Well, well. Insta rain, I like it. Oh wow, this is so cute. These raindrops are like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out, Raiders! If y'all have never played the Minish Cap, it is completely adorable. Link shrinks down to itty bitty size, and these scenes are all just. Wonderfully charming. Link's just a little guy. This is a little guy, you know. We got tiny. He's totes adorbs. What are those situations? weird rocks. They look like gorilla chests. You can push those. Uh -huh. Whoa, whoa. Sweet. So now I can get over here while I'm in Biggin. Gotta reset, it's a puzzle, okay. Or if that will reset us. 
Try this again. Okay. Okay, I see what I need to do. We're trying to get a reset on this now. Ooh, trust me, Unsecret Crush, I have had a bunch of people submit those uh, soda machines for Persona. Oh, size change will reset, okay. Yeah, there's some really good soda machines through the Persona series. That's really how I found out about the existence of Persona. I'm so out of the loop on, like, JRPGs, I'd never heard of it until I went uh, searching for soda machines. Hmm, doesn't look like that reset it, does it? Well, you may have to do a full screen change, huh? Oh, wow. Oh, the one I want to reset is reset. Okay. Great. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Let's see here. So. All right. doing this wrong. Let's ask ourselves, is this what, yes it is, this is what we want. <laughs> we had to stop and think for a moment there. Okay. Then that'll roll out of the way. There we go. Da 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 da! Real jerks. Done goo. I got done goofed. Okay. Let's go. I need to get better at these puzzles. If you think playing enough Zelda by now, I would have started to figure some basic logic by which these things function, yet here we are. I'm still just as bad as I ever was at them. Far left one go down. Don't think it can. No. All right. Success. We'll do a celebratory bombing.
There we go. Sweet, more bombs. Why not the, why not the guest jar? That's a great question. Do I need to uh, throw a bomb across at those? Is that what the game seems to be hinting? Or can I guess jar those? Oh, sweet. Look at that. Guess jar does stuff. Okay. I'm charging up from the spin attack. I should know it would never work. I've never killed anything in the Zelda game with the spin attack. But I think today was going to be my day. Spin attack is a joke. A cruel joke. this situation. Is this something I don't have the power to do? Oh, wait, no. I need to throw the pot across there? It doesn't feel right. Please tell me I haven't dead ended. No. Good question. Let's see here if I can gust a jar across if I do this smart. I don't know how to turn around in direction, how to spin link around once I have something in my gust. Or you eat a bomb. Yeah, like as far as I can tell. I can't switch Link's direction once I have it. <laughs> that was pretty fun, though. Let's try eating a bomb. Okay. I like something from uh, back in my Breath of the Wild days. Aha! Thank you. It's kind of weird that the, uh... That the, uh... Pots didn't work, honestly, I felt like, but... A red rupee? It's the big money. Yeah, that's the thing. I agree, Ben, with the pots being, like, behind the little slotty puzzle. It really gives you the feeling that, uh, you're supposed to use the pots to solve that little bit. There we go. Alright. Oh, 
<laughs> there we go. Let's drop two bombs on this guy. That's our move. Well, at least it killed him. Nailed it. Perfect first try. Okay, let's try this again. Need to be more clever. We have a bunch of kinstone pieces now. Ooh! Thank you, NBA Dag. We have, after we've been going for 2 hours and 11 minutes, how's that possible? I'm sure we've built up some static in this uh, stream, so let's see if we can just degauss this. Ah, uh, much better. Thank you for redeeming that. Now we can push through to whatever the reasonable end of the stream will be. Like, I feel like we've got to be getting near the top. This is this dude's house, right? Like, this has got to be the dude's house. It is always beautiful and fantastic, isn't it? Thank you again, Grayson, for making that. You're truly a hero. Okay, I'm almost certain this is going to be the guy's house that we've been searching for this entire stream. I bet in the average Let's Play... This would have been the equivalent of about, I'm going to say, 18 minutes of gameplay that we squeezed into two hours and 15 minutes tonight. If that, maybe 12 minutes of gameplay. Alright, we got the beeping going again. That's just what I wanted. Okay, we're going to do it. Rory's not. Hey, ding along, pong along, dig along for iron. That's adorable. Ding along, pong along, dig down, dig around, dig the ground for iron. I belongs to Malari, and us is seven apprentices. Did you ting along, pong along, all this long way to get through sword repair? The boss is down the lowest level. This isn't a dungeon, is it? Right, come back, come back. Okay, same thing, same thing. Hey, good night, Sidemouth Boy. Thanks for hanging. Hope you have a great evening. <gasps> Are you finally green clothes and odd hat? Sir, might you be young Link? I'm Malari, Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the Sacred Sword and help break the curse. Please tell me there isn't any additional steps that need to happen to reforge this sword. I'll be needing the old sword. I'll be the broken Pecori blade. I love all this adventure, what with the rescue of princesses and such. I'd be happy to reforge this thing. It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine the humans dug. It's not far from here. Alright, let's get started. Hey. That'll be a while, Link. Let's leave them find that element. Don't, oh, wait. I guess that's not the sword I've been using. Huh. Wow, all that, and here we are. Goodness gracious. That was some slow gameplay tonight. I'm sorry that I was not better at this video game. Um, But... I think that's probably going to be a perfect place to call it quits tonight. So I am going to do just that. Whew, we made some progress. Thanks for the help along the way, y'all. Let's see where we can raid off to before we call it a night. I hope everyone has uh, a terrific rest of your evening. Let's see here. Who is online? Who's online? Who's online? Cobra Command is online. Always a terrific stream. Always a terrific raid. Cobra Commander is playing uh, Super Mario RPG 
which uh, of course is a fantastic game. Perfect to go from one Nintendo stream to another. That's right, we managed to make an entire stream without me getting canceled again. Whew. So we did it, gang. But uh, thank y'all again for joining me. I'll go ahead and create that raid. And I will see you all again, definitely for Retro Adventure Wednesday. I'll be back with more Phantasmagoria. Who knows, uh, you might see me even sooner than that with a daytime stream sometime, maybe uh, tomorrow or Wednesday. So keep your eyes peeled. But for now, take care, everybody. And I will see you on the other side of the raid.